Beautiful. Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more High Water. This is this program. No, let's uh, let's carry on where we left off last coffee. time. And thankfully, a main supporter of this channel is Bettenberg Beans. Bettenberg Beans. You all know what I think about the awful sludge they peddle at Starbean. Mighty Starbucks water, accent. Me. <laughs> call me a purist, call me a snob. There's nothing better than a shot of BD Espresso at Jean Luc's Cafe in Terminal 1 of the former Elfville Airport. Yes, a heat wave airport coffee at its finest. Mm. Whatever that means. Okay. Bettenberg. Water, Pirate Radio, your anchor in reality. Stuff. It doesn't look like it, but we're quite near St. Luke's, which is where we're going, isn't it? We need to... Supposedly it's going to help us somehow get into Alphaville. Something to do with Gene stuff. I don't really get it, but we'll see what happens. Dro, you see the entrance? Yep. Kid, wait for us on the other side. But I also need a DDS. How will they take my DNA sample? Ouch. <laughs> Pulled the hair up. Maya can use the hair. There, sold. Let's go. Okay, we've got these three again. Um. Oh. <laughs> this doesn't look good. This looks really bad. What happened here? We haven't seen a lot of, like, dead bodies and stuff in places, I don't think. This, this looks like the scene of a massacre or some kind of major infection, perhaps. They was talking about cholera outbreaks and stuff. I mean, um... Yeah, maybe something like that happened. Let's have a look at this anyway. <laughs> Let's waltz on the blue Danube, my dead friend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. I be proper. Uh, one damage protection. Continuous effect could be good. Uh, this is probably something. Designer babies are becoming the norm. Are we creating two strands in human evolution? Hmm. Okay, with that damage protection thing, is there someone who can benefit from that? I mean, we may as well, what have we got here? We've got uh, melee, melee damage protection. I might take that off of Rimbo, though, because he's a ranged character, really. Uh, but just a flat one damage protection could be good. Hello? Gods! Who are you? I got this rash. I got this rash in my pants. Maybe you could take a look. Oh dear. So who's this little robot? Is he on our side, perhaps? Um, no. No, really. All right. Let me. Have, I'm trying to double-click on him. Uh, Punch Bio, the boxy basic robot, conduct basic basic maintenance of Alpha Phil facilities. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, he just punches for two. All right, nothing complicated there. We've met these other guys before. What does this do? EKG cut. Either push it or ride on it to deal four damage to an enemy and apply stun. Okay, well, we've got two of those pointed straight at these guys, so that seems like a pretty good plan. I'm not going to target the robots yet. I'm not sure what they're going to do on their turn. Um, but coming here and stunning these guys and hitting them for four sounds pretty good. Do we push or do we follow up? Uh, Laura's re uh, melee, so I think follow up. We can get into fight a bit easier. Um, Josephine, similar, really. Um, let's do that. They're both stunned, so I'll probably just ignore them for now. Uh, we could put like five damage on this guy. We will pull him a bit close. Oh. Okay, we didn't have as much range on that as I thought we did. Yeah. Okay, well. Hmm. I guess. Oh, I can't even, I, I, I'll tell you what. Why don't we just shoot this guy? Huh? I'm going to leave the robot for now. He, he might well attack us. He might attack them. I'm not sure. It might have been a bad idea if he attacks us. But he doesn't do huge amounts of damage either way. Is 
going to punch that guy? No, I think he's going to come for us. Okay, bad idea, because the robots are out to get us. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Okay, I probably should have seen that coming. I mean, I didn't know, so... However... Oh god. Oh my god, why are you sending in more guys? Like a grenade or something. All right, Josephine. Well, I think we should probably heal you. What does this booster do? Is this extra damage? Because that could come in handy. Plus two melee. I think yeah. I think probably this is a good situation to use the booster in. Um. She can't push the cart again, unfortunately. Uh. Laura can. I'm not sure about that. Okay, let's push the colour there. We'll stun this guy. Do some damage on. Oh, this, this guy. This is pretty bad, honestly. Yeah, she, she could attack this guy. It's a robot. Really, what I should have done. If I'd known he was going to come. What do these fire extinguishers do? Use it to deal six damage to an enemy. Oh. I even notice those. That's quite good. I might use uh, Rimbo to grab that and this guy is quite it's quite far range as well all right we should have noticed that first if we fail this combat that could well be what we do um, Rimbo I think I'm just gonna kill this guy oh no why did I do that oh, I'm so stupid okay well hit and run um, maybe we'll just move him back Josephine then. Okay, I'm going to grab this then because I meant to do it with Rimbo. I forgot. Uh, and we're going to use it to kill this guy. There's loads of them as well. We should have noticed this first. Okay. might be dead. Well, we won't restart the combat because uh, we might be able to... Oh. Shame that corner wasn't cover. If they bring in fresh enemies, we might have to reload it because... Um, but what I'm hoping is that she can knock out this guy. Maybe Rimbo can't get there. Okay, what have we got? They're all melee. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, she can maybe stun this guy, though. Rimbo... Our range. Okay, so we move forward two. I want to get a bit closer to that extinguisher as well. So what about that? No, that's not enough. So if we move to there. Shoot this robot. Still got quite a lot of stuff to take care of here, but the fact that these guys are melee means that we're going to be able to... Oh no, she's down now. Can Rimbo do all this on his own? <laughs> Probably not. I think we need to grab the extinguisher and knock that guy out. I'm about to, I don't know, man. 
I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to restart that battle and um, we'll make use of those extinguishers a bit earlier, I think. Right, okay, well, this time we know this robot is going to shoot us. <laughs> so we're going to shoot, well, punch us. So we're going to shoot him first. Um, get Rimbo to do that now, honestly. Um, I might leave him where he is. I might get Josephine. Well, let's take some of these guys out. So let's grab the fire extinguisher. Uh, that sucks because I kind of wanted to hit this guy. Um, but tell you what, let's just take these two guys down. Get Laura. Rimbo, I'm not sure yet. Laura, let's do this. Ah! <laughs> hmm. I mean, she can end her turn and do it next turn. Or we could. Oh, Rimbo's moved, isn't he? Um. Urgh. Right, undo movement. What we'll do instead is we'll shove this trolley and stun this guy. Um, but I'm not going to follow it up. We'll just stay down here. There's a lot of melee guys up here. We, guys, guys up here. We can kind of deal with them as they approach. Uh, Rimbo. I don't know. I might keep him fairly central, perhaps. All right. I think it's a better start than we had last time, anyway. Do we get the reinforcements run in this time? I can't remember. Yep. Here, well, I think number one is take this fire extinguisher and we can knock out this one. I think we just need to sort of clear the board as much as we can. Uh, you know what? Laura... She can't, she can't get... I mean... It's annoying because she can take this... I suppose she could move and then take it. But she can get here and actually use that to knock out both of these. Which isn't a bad idea. Does the tornado kick? She's killing both of these in killing both of these enemies. I think that's a worthwhile trade. Um, I think we've got to just kill this guy. Um, so what's my range on this? So I need to come forward a couple of tiles. If I come here. I think we just finish this guy off. Clear enemies from the board wherever we can. That's quite, if he stays sort of on this line, Laura can actually shove that into him next go. Assuming she's still alive. Which is a big assumption at this point. Yeah, that's only a two hit. So I don't think, the guy with the gun, he doesn't do that much. That's a bit annoying. I think Josephine could shove the trolley into him. Oh wow, he did do quite a lot of damage. That is annoying. Oh, he didn't stay there. Um, okay, let's think. So he could come here and stun this guy with this trolley. Josephine can't. What's Laura's thing she can do? Three and bleed. Deal three and bleed. Deal three, yeah. None of those are amazing options. If 
come back to Laura, I'm not sure yet. Uh, Joseph um, Josephine could... I mean, she can get to this guy. She can stun him too. Is this, this is cover, so I think maybe if she comes here and applies stun to this guy. We at least don't have to worry about him on this turn. Things we do have to worry about. Laura dying to this. Um, and she might die anyway, so I think probably the... Um, what's the range on the nail gun? Range 2. Uh, can she hit him from here? wondering if there's any point moving. We can stun this guy, um, and I think we probably should. Now we'll just do a push for now, I think. This guy can't be stunned. I think the best we could pro well, I mean, she could run away, but I don't think that will help much. I think pro probably the best thing we can do is just uh, stick some bleed on him. Like, she's gonna die now, but the other two should be okay. Can Josephine do three? I think she can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let's just come here. It's for my dog, he's in the garden shouting at, I think it might be the wind he's shouting at today. <laughs> That's the sort of thing he does. How many attacks can she chain together? She can... I need to be making more use of this because she is. She just killed all three in one turn. I didn't know she could do that. I knew she, I knew she could do more than one in a turn, but that was uh, that was pretty good. I keep keep pressing right click like I'm playing the Thaumaturge, trying to uh, locate stuff in the area. <laughs> um, that looks like where we're supposed to go. Let's just um, let's just have a look in the. Around in the corners. We've got a seagull. This is quite far for what might be a dead end, so I think maybe we should go in this room next. In case this is like an optional side thing. Okay, we've got some babies crying. Um. I thought that might be who we're looking for, but it's not. Ray Keyboards, 101 supplements for transhumanists. If you're hoping to extend human lifespan until you can stop being human, this book is essential. The singularity is near, but you won't live to see it unless you have the right nutrition. Garbage. <laughs> it's probably, is it based on a real book? I don't know. Might be. Probably is. Uh, is that literally all there is in here? Yes. Can't speak to the nurse. And we can't do anything with the baby that's crying. I reckon that's it. Alright. Rimbo runs funny. <laughs> ah, what we got here? Sort of energy gate. Do they say anything when they get close to it? This won't work. Okay. Presumably there's a code or something we might have to do with that um, panel. Um, I guess we, we should probably be going in the room. So Pigman. <laughs> Is that a Seinfeld restaurant uh, reference? Let me go! I don't want to be here anymore!
Um, Pigman appears to be on our side. Um, directly controllable. What can he do? Uh, spin round dealing three damage to all characters in range. That's pretty good. Bite an enemy, stealing the enemy's health points. Mm. Big man. I might move him here for his roundhouse kick, because Laura can shove this in and um, kill this guy off after that. He really needs a, a hospital gown with a back on it. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's shove this up and then we can sort of finish off this guy. Do I follow it up? I think I do because she's a more a melee character. Um, now, this guy, he's quite... What's he got? Doctor. A friend of Maya's from medical school. Doc is a timid, unassuming person who tries to mind his own business and avoids trouble. But then look at Pigman. In a way, he's Doc's son. Shoot a ray gun, doing four damage and two damage to everyone else. Okay, he is, uh, yeah, he's trouble. What's this? Pull, knock or pull down a shelf on an enemy to kill them. Can we, can we abuse that in any way? This is cover. What I'm thinking is maybe get, um... Okay, let's get Rimbo into cover. I'm thinking use Harpoon on this one. A bit closer. I'm thinking Josephine maybe come here and finish him off, and then she can maybe chain the attack with the other one who's low health. That bloodlust thing is pretty mad. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, I guess I'm going to come here... Because I think she might... Mm, I don't know if that shelf is cover, actually. Let's do this. Let's put her there. And let's finish off... No, 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 no. This guy. And then she'll hopefully get... We can use our stun attack on this one. So he's not really a worry anymore. Or she could use it on the dock. Which is probably quite a good idea. Yeah, his, his attack seems more dangerous. So let's... That is going to stun him. So we've only really got this one to worry about, and he might come and shoot the big man anyway. Oh no, he shot Laura. Okay. Pigman can jump. Can we get on this side of the enemy? Oh, that was a nice stun. Look at that. I didn't re I, I mean, it probably said in the description, but I didn't look at the description, so I didn't realize uh, he could stun when he landed with that. Come on, attack this guy. Come on. Alright, well, he's going to be easy enough to finish off now. Um. So Rimbo, I think you just shoot the dock. That's okay. Um, with Josephine, I think we're going to come in here and we're going to punch the dock. She can't really get anywhere useful, so we're going to bring Laura up. And I think we might just nail gun this guy. That wasn't close enough. It's coming. Big man did pretty well for us there. Thank you, guys. We're looking for Dr. Meyer. Let's go together. Don't take this the wrong way, but uh, what happened to you? I volunteered for some experimental treatment. And you see what's the result. Sorry to hear that, Pigman. Well, the sad part is that it kind of worked. Physically, I feel great. I'm Rory, by the way. Pigman. Okay, um... Henry Gray and Henry Van Dyke Center, Gray's... Uh, 
Grey's Anatomy by Henry Gray and Henry Van Dyke Carter. Okay, it says centre there for some reason. Not to be confused with the hit TV series, this uh, 19th century anatomy book has inspired medical students and the painter Jean-Michel Basquiat. Leaf through these old drawings reminiscent of Leonardo sketches. I wonder if that's a, um, I wonder if that's a real thing. It might be. That's probably what they named the TV show after if it is. Which I've never seen. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, let's carry on. Really happy to have Pigman here. Oh, maybe Pigman can punch that, um, that access panel type thing. Boss, can you break down the door? I actually know the pass. <laughs> it's the first ten numbers in a Fibonacci sequence. Sweet. Nick Borstrom Biotech and Biomedicine. New frontier for superhumans. Brain and physical implants, solving death, and gene editing are some of the best topics covered in Burstrom's bestseller, recommended by CEO Muscovich. In order to survive, humans will have to enhance themselves. Oh. You're going to feel the rage of the pig man. So he can jump in here, and he can do three damage to, say, these three? That's a kill. Stunned a couple of them. Oh, he is MVP, Mr. Pigman. Blammo. So what else can we do here? Um... Oh, actually, we could have pulled him in as well. Let's um, let's restart that because uh, that would have been a really nice opening move. We yeah. So let's get um, Rimbo to move on a couple of squares. And we're going to drag... Oh, he's going there. Okay, reset movement. Um... What about here? Yes. Come here, please. Thank you. Now, oh, Mr. Pigman, if you would be so kind. Tornado kick. Ha. Right, let's actually go to Josephine, because if she can uh, stun this guy, that puts us in a pretty good position. Alternatively, she could just go... Okay, hang on. Alternatively, I never keep... I never look for this, but, you know, she... she maybe she can bloodlust on these three guys and just finish them off. Yeah, come here. Kill this guy. We may as well just do some damage while stunning this guy, but I think Laura could probably finish him off anyway after that three damage. Easy peasy, they didn't even get a go. Alright, there's something there's something here and there's something there. Salinus Max. Two health points, minus one movement points. Okay. Interesting. Might be worth giving them to one of Laura or Josephine. Crutch, used in the physical therapy department of St. Luke's Hospital. The crutch is one of the many mobility aids that can be useful, also as a literal crutch and a slapstick kung fu type of weapon. Alright, well, who can use that? Okay, not Josephine, obviously. She can't use anything. But what does it do? Damage to range one can be used... It makes its user immune to cripple. Hmm. I mean, she's got good melee stuff, and she's got a bleed thing, so I think I think stick that in. Uh, yeah. Oh, and the boosters. Um, might give that to might give that to Laura. Okay. 
Dippity tap. Pigman is MVP. I have a horrible feeling he won't be able to join us for the rest of our adventure, but I wish he would, because he is awesome. Uh, let's another fight. Okay, looking like a good Pigman location here if we go first. Is, th is there a way of pushing this guy in here so we also hit him? Imagine he'll get pushed onto. The, if we come somewhere like that, I imagine he'll come um, onto that square. Yeah. Oh no, that's that's fine though, because Pigman can 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 get him there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's totally what we're gonna do. Pigman, if you would be so kind. Tornado kick. He's not stunned, the Doctor in a suit, so we've got to bear that in mind. Um, but I think probably best bet if Laura uh, weakens this guy. Uh, I will follow it up, actually. It's only a square, so... I think Josephine could be used to kill both of these now. Maybe get a stun on that dock. Yeah. Let's move her up. Let's, uh, let's put the damage on this robot. And let's put a stun on this guy. Now we've only got one guy who can actually do anything on their turn. Disarm. Not great on Pigman, but, you know, we can deal with it. So Pigman can't attack, unfortunately, nor can he jump and, and really do anything, so he's probably as much as he can do in this combat now. I think I want to shoot this guy, though. Hit and run. So I might just move him back, because this guy might not be able to get a shot on him. He might have to go for the Pigman instead, which is absolutely fine with me. Pigman, sorry that you can't do anything. Laura. Yeah, I mean, she can get here. I mean, she might be better to shoot from cover here and just use the bleed on this guy. Then jo if Josephine comes around here, she won't get the kill, but he will bleed to death after his turn. I think that leaves us in a pretty good position. Sorry, Pigman. Uh, in fact, I might even just move you forward one, just so you really block this guy in the corner. Well, he really didn't want to go for Pigman, did he? So he will get. He probably will kill Laura, but. He is going to... Oh, not even. He's just going to bleed to death. Well, Now, big man. Ah, maybe he did hit both, actually. Oh, no, because the other guy hit him. No, no, no. Never mind. Um, so he can do damage four while biting someone. Let's see what that looks like. Looks like a kill. This feels like a pretty strong group. Okay, what's this? Super male. Two melee damage, continuous effect. I think we've already got this equipped on at least one person. Uh, might not be a bad idea to put it on. It's got a heal and movement. I, mm, let's actually put that on instead. Might give him the extra movement. Yeah. That could be Maya over there. 
Let's go see. Dr. Meyer? Oh, I thought that was the pig man talking. Don't, don't tell me. My father sent you. We're not the first people he sent to you. No, now that he's dying, he's trying to be a good Samaritan. Good thing he raised his daughter to be a good Samaritan as well. Honestly, you have good timing. They'll airlift me to Alphaville tonight. If you only came a few hours later, you'd miss me. What do we do now? Lynn, honey, come out. Oops. And I have a hair from our friend. Will this do? Yes, I've got one request. You have to take Lynn with you. Try to smuggle her, him, it, oh, him into the rocket. Uh, if he stays with me, they'll put him with other kids into a group for studying immunity of children born around the time of the catastrophe. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought I had to read that quickly because the speech bubble seemed to go really fast. So they are kidnapping children. They call it a biomedical research study in the interest of understanding environmental biohazards causing deaths of unprotected adults. <gasps> Wait a sec, lady. We already have a kid in flip-flops. We... Trust me, Lynn isn't your average kid. Who's first? Hand on the sensory plate, please. You all have the DNA IDs. Oh. Go to room 11 and the supply officer will provide you with hazmats. And we're following this toddler? His psychosomatic resiliency is off the charts. You're the toddler from his perspective. Do my rimbo. We're right behind you. Not to stay with you, Dr. Meyer. I'll do my best to help you, Rory. Why help him? He's an absolute unit. I don't know what this kid can do. Oh. Halt! For someone working at front desk, you don't make great first impression. Oh well, wow. that is a big fight. Urgh. We don't have Pigman anymore. Let's see what the kid can do. Lin, he can. Range 50, hack a robot enemy to use it as an ally. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, detonates an enemy robot to destroy it and deal damage to nearby characters. Range 6, damage 3. Okay. That's not bad. Just thinking, um, I mean, if we were to do that on, like, this robot, he'll hit those two and destroy himself. I mean, that's not bad. It's a shame we can't, although, no, hang on, think about this. We could pull Rim, get Rimbo to pull this guy into this square um, and then detonate that robot. That's probably a good plan. Um, I think if Rimbo's here, that should be fine, range-wise. No, we're one short. Okay, reset movement. I have to come here. Right, yeah, let's pull this guy for forwards. That'll actually kill him and the robot, and it'll damage these two guys quite severely. Uh, back to Lin. Yeah, detonate this guy. Bad. Lorda. Or Josephine. She can't get in there, unfortunately finish those two guys off. What do we do? What do we do? I mean, this isn't too hard. We'll just kill the robot. If we do it from there, then she'll be in cover at least. Um, just this kick will do it. Can this move... Okay, can this move diagonally is my question. Yes, it can. Brilliant. Okay, well, I think we will... Yeah, we'll follow it in. And she's kind of in maybe a bit more in range to get a bit of a bloodlust chain going. Not bad. Absolutely fine. She's in cover. She's only taken one damage from them. So he can only get there. 
Oh, no, we got reinforcements. Scratch everything I just said. Okay. He doesn't seem to do an awful lot if there isn't an enemy to hack, however. So, we'll leave that for now. Uh, so, what I'm thinking is maybe... If I can just get Rimbo into cover, probably it's a good idea. I'm going to just shoot this guy. We'll lower his health so that Josephine can go on a bit of a rampage. Yeah, so if she comes here, she can kill off that guy, this guy, and maybe... Well, if we kill this guy, then maybe move to this square. We might be able to uh, chain the guys behind the desk as well. now as a result. It's apart from Pigman. Pigman was probably my favourite. <laughs> I mean, she can also... Uh, I wonder if her bloodlust will continue if she throws this at uh, this guy. I don't think so. No. Okay, that does break the bloodlust. It's got to be melee kills. Well, that's... that's good. I mean, she's killed a six health um, enemy, so I'm not... I'm not overly concerned by that. And these guys are all going to be in cover anyway. Um, he can't do anything. Um, there's no robots on the map, so... Uh, end his turn. Oh, we still got Laura. So that's fine, we can kill this guy then. I'm enjoying these combat levels. Um, they're pretty fun. Finding out about this bloodlust thing being able to sort of, as far as I know, indefinitely chain <laughs> kills is uh, pretty cool. Okay, we've got more. Pretty annoying. No robots coming in, so Lin is of limited utility, I would say. Uh, but we've got a lot of fire extinguishers, so... Oh, yeah, we can get there and shove into this guy. And I will follow it in as well. Right, so that's, he's out of action for this turn. Uh, with Laura, I'm going to see if she can hit this guy with the uh, extinguisher. No. Okay, well that affects our thinking a little bit. She comes here and uses this one, though. Oh, can't hit any of them. Oh no! Oh yeah, I'm putting it back. That's fine. Oh, uh, well, we could nail. I don't even nail gun this guy. Hey, okay, undo movement. I don't know what to do with her then. Maybe if we, go, if we come here, we're in cover, and we might be able to nail gun this guy up here. We can. Okay. So what we can now do is. Josephine can uh, chain some kills together. There she goes. Nice bloodlust, so I think we'll come here, we'll finish this guy. And we'll put a stun on this one. They didn't clear the map, unfortunately. They might get more reinforcements to come in. Uh, but we shall see. We got Lin. I don't really know what to do with Lin. I might just sort of leave him here reasonably central in case a robot comes in. And that's it. Doesn't look like there's any more reinforcements, so pretty simple. Uh, we'll get the kill with Josephine, why not? VP. Uh, 
70 oxygen tanks and a thousand pairs of field socks plus anti-mosquito cream. No, I've got 60 floatable containers, but the forklift went offline, so loading must be manual, but... No, how can I work like this? I was promised to have three medevac drones with extra fuel tanks to get all this. Now I have to draft personnel to hand load everything. Knock, knock. Echem? Yes? Let us in. Who are you? Maya sent us. Oh, you're the group bound to Alphaville. Yeah? I expected someone well richer. Come on, there's not much time. She'll think, um, office here. Drive! And my costume? In my backpack. Go! To the Ark. Ooh, I feel like we're getting towards the, uh, the conclusion now. I know it isn't a tremendously long game, so I always thought it was probably going to be five or six episodes. Of Alphaville, which is almost everyone, a bit of insider info. President Muscovich has called for an emergency Reaching the open water of Dorada Bay. Board members at the head office located in Alphaville. And the Amo Capitano. Overlooking Dorada Bay. The atmosphere in the city is tense. Regards to all of you trying to survive in the flood. Take care and be safe. More news soon. You know, you know. Keeping you in the know with our flow. High Water Pirate Radio. She moves from the sea to the shipwreck she took me. Crazy. I fall. Seems like a very quiet song. I'm waiting for it to get louder. Under the blue. Into darkness, cold water made me swim. Look at all this garbage. In the night, I fought a black man under the food. She's just seeing if there's any optional islands, and I think there is one actually. There's a photo up over there too. Oh, got one here. Come here, grab me But I had no word She said I wanna make I get through here? It's hard to tell with everyone in my way. Yes. <laughs> hatchet. No one's burring their hatchet in these burring? Burying? No one's burying their hatchet in these post-apocalyptic times. This is a rusty old-school hand axe with a wooden handle. Now, who can use it? Uh, not me, not Laura. Rimbo could. Josephine, of course, can't, nor can Lynn. I don't really want to change Rimbo up. Uh, so, what is, I mean, what does it do? Damage three, range one. Because I like him having the range, and this just is really good for just moving enemies around and doing quite a lot. It does quite a lot. It does, it does, oh, hang on, no. Uh, yeah, I just want to look at it. Yeah, damage 4, range 5. It is a really good weapon. Um, so I don't want to lose that. I guess... Ah! It's all switching. I just want to click on stuff. Yeah, alright. I mean, I can see why Josephine doesn't equip other weapons if with her arm she can just chain kills together really well. Bettenberg Poetry Society collected poems on beauty. There is no shortage of ugliness in the world. If man closed his eyes to it, there would be even more. Varu Faraksad. That's a big duck. Algae Schnapps. Damage protection. Minus one movement points. Okay, well I might give that to um, Kiddo. Because uh, he doesn't really move anyway. He's got quite a big range and needs robots to be at all effective. Melee protection. I mean, I might as well give it to him, I suppose, at this point. <laughs> it's the pain I cannot forego. It's the fear I cannot be 
Big giant head. There's another island over here. A photo of How long until the orc stops by the Digipop Digitopamine building? And five hours? Okay, let's stop by the Mermaid Tavern and have a bite. Look at that. Interesting. Is that the one I was just at? Might be. Vita boost plus four health points, instant effect. Oh, who would do, who would do well with a big heal? Um, you too. I want I want to keep Josephine alive as long as possible. I think so. Let's give her the big heal. Laura probably does need one. Uh, might give her the straight up heal as well. Muscovich denies rumors that Hope mission rockets will evacuate only a select few to Mars. Music, news, and interviews. You're tuned to Highwater Pirate Radio. So I managed to catch up with General Frankenheimer himself. You heard it here first, folks. General Frankenheimer, sir, excuse me, General, sir, just one question. Why aren't you boarding the rocket, son? Uh, what do you want? I'm in a hurry. Ah, uh, sure. Can you tell our listeners more about Alphaville's policy to shoot down boats attempting to cross the dam into the city? What are you, an independent journalist? We're in the midst of the most challenging technological feat in the history of humanity. We're moving to Mars. I can't allow for Ren. I'm not sure what that is, but let's get the seagulls just flying across the dark stone there. Some desperate people to swarm around and infiltrate the Hope mission. We're in a state of war, with insurgents, with other nations, and with nature itself. What if an insurgent wants to sabotage our mission? What if someone brings in a virus from all those flooded regions? It would jeopardize our mission. So quit whining. Get your ass into the rocket and be grateful for the chance to start a new life on Mars. General Frankenheim is busy, man. It's the life yes, on Mars. Ah, yes, of course. Thank you, sir. Keeping you in the know with our flow. High water pirate radio. Anything? It's holding a big hand. Back in some of the other places, there might be somewhere to land, although I'm not sure. used to be. Oh, here we go. Tidal generators. Out they work. The bomb makes electricity from the nearby VR siren. Doesn't look much like a tavern. Kid, trust me, everyone is there. Alpha villains, insurgents, regular people. Like the blind bird, but uh, more dangerous. It's like a camper van thing with a sail on it. Oh no, that's... Oh, that could be the Vikings. I think it is the Vikings. Yes, they're here. 
Right. Well, I think we're coming up to uh, a new area now, like some sort of bar maybe with people to go and talk to. But I think we'll leave it there for today. When we come back, we'll, we'll head on up and head into possibly the finale of the game. I think within another one or two episodes we'll probably be there. Um, but yeah, hopefully you're still enjoying it. If you are, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that would be amazing. Always appreciated. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the game. Um, you know, the aesthetic, the music. I think generally I've really enjoyed the music. There was one song, that kazoo song, that just, I don't know, didn't land with me at all. Um, but let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.